Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Valley Life. I'm Rich Krebs. And you know, people have had to deal with uh, substance abuse and some addictions right now that uh, the number seems to be climbing quite a bit. And people are thinking, what do I do? Who do I turn to? And, you know, where do I go? Well, I'm going to show you somebody right now that has got a lot of information and a ton of experience that can help you with that uh, trying time, or even if you've got a family member that needs some help. Dr. Gazetta, how are you, sir? It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I, I get some great questions for you, but first, I kind of want to talk about your background a little bit because I think people need to know there's a trusted person right here in the Valley and one of the best facilities in the Central Valley that can help people. Um, a lot of these things have sprung up now as the growing number of population uh, is having trouble with substance abuse. You've been doing this for over 20 years. Right. I've been doing over 20 years, and uh, my background is that I uh, got my MD at UC USC uh, Medical School, mm -hmm. did my residency there, and, and also did my residence here in Fresno in family medicine. Then I uh, studied under somebody else and uh, got board certified in addiction medicine as well. Okay. And since that uh, experience level has, has grown and you've seen you know different ways of treating it or better methods of making that happen, um, having these years of experience kind of starts when people walk in the door. You've got a, a full assessment program because not every treatment's going to be the same. So you can analyze people and say, this is our best path of approach to keep you sober. Well, we have, we have individualized treatment and assessments because, like you said, everybody's different. Mm -hmm. And we ask a lot of questions, and some of the questions – may not seem appropriate for that person, and they may wonder why I'm asking them those questions, sure. but they might be appropriate for somebody else. So we take those and we uh, form an analysis, and our recommendation comes from that. Okay. Uh, a, a growing number of the population, too, seems to be getting younger and younger when they start uh, experimenting with different substances. Uh, are you finding now that that was well, probably the impetus behind bringing in the adolescent program, but that that number keeps growing and parents are just wondering, who do I turn to to help out the kids? Well, we've been seeing a lot of adolescents here. Even uh, we've been seeing a lot of adolescents here, and but recently we uh, acquired an adolescent program, which treats uh, kids from 15 on up, okay. and is geared for that age group. Before we were trying to fit 18-year-olds in an in adult groups, it didn't work as well, and so now we have a therapist that specializes in that. And with your MD background, also Dr. Rondazzo is on board that's got a PhD too and kind of handles a little more of the psychology aspect. So you're able to attack it from both fronts, not just the psychological, but also help with the medicine that sometimes uh, gets them through that initial detoxification process. A lot of people have what they call dual uh, diagnosis or dual disorders. They can have an addiction problem and a uh, mental health problem. Okay. So the combination of myself and Dr. Rondazzo makes a good team. Because we look at uh, people in a different way, and we can uh, treat them better than if it was just me myself. Sure. And you have great success with the uh, the type of outpatient program that you've put together. So it's not just going to say an AA meeting, um, but with a combination of the medicine and the psychological treatment, plus having a, a bigger support group behind you, you're finding it uh, helps for a greater success rate. We found that uh, if we looked at if we looked at statistics, it shows that people who enter an outpatient program uh, have a three times more likely chance of staying sober a year compared to not going to an outpatient program and that's why we offer that uh, to the community now if someone's watching this and they're suffering themselves or they even got a family member doing it they still may be really scared to make that first initial phone call once they've picked up the phone and said doc i need some help let's let's get this whole process rolling kind of walk me through the initial assessment then and how comfortable you make people that's what you pride yourself on make them comfortable so they realize look we're here to help let's let's get you back on the right track so kind of walk me through that initial assessment well, see, i think sometimes when people talk to addicts they tend to judge them or some negative vibe may come up and that doesn't happen here at all so we make people feel comfortable right away and we just asked uh, questions in a uh, easy manner and and i think they feel comfortable after a couple of minutes sure some of the medications that you choose to the the whole pers uh, point of using the ones that you do is to not just knock the edge off, but also not create a secondary addiction in the process. Yeah, we don't use addictive drugs here unless we're using them for detox. Okay. Uh, so any other medications we use are symptom relievers, or if they have a d depression, we put them on antidepressants or something like that. Having the medical support uh, to, to help with the detoxification process, you're finding that's a lot easier on people than just saying, look, stop cold turkey and here we go. That's a, there's a di little bit different approach that, that has a better success rate. Most people who try and go cold turkey are unsuccessful. So there's a couple of reasons to de detox. One of them is to help with the symptoms during the process of getting them off of the substance and also to ensure that they achieve sobriety. Because what happens is if somebody's drinking and they have three days of sobriety, they have withdrawal symptoms, they're going to start drinking again. So they never achieve abstinence. 
And then with your approach and Dr. Randazzo's approach to the psychology part of it, bringing in the family too and having that support network uh, really helps people kind of, you know, get through this process and get back to a better path of, of good health. We think uh, that addiction is a family disease. It's, uh, it's part of the family and we need the family members to participate partly to give us their side of the story and partly for them to learn what to do when you have somebody who has an addiction in their family. Sure. Well, Dr. Gazette, I sure appreciate your time. Thank your information you. has been invaluable. Thank, Thank you so much. And folks, make that phone call. If, if it's you that you're dealing with the problem or you've got a family member that's doing it, call Touchstone Recovery Center right here in Clovis at the Clovis Medical Center and get started on the right path to get you back to where you need to be for health and recovery.